Like many uh, young people, um, uh, my reasons for serving uh, were probably varied. A lot of people will say that they served to uh, defend their country and the betterment of uh, the nation, but that's often something we learn while we're serving. Um, the reasons I um, chose to serve, I grew up in Massachusetts uh, where um, the history of the Revolutionary War was often discussed and it's kind of romantic and, and exciting. Um, I also grew up along the sea um, and so the Navy was my first choice. Um, ultimately I came from a family without much means and um, in order to finish college I joined a Navy program that they would pay me to finish school and so I could get my degree. Um, and then I started joining and I only had an initial commitment and um, it's kind of interesting how our perspectives change about why we serve uh, from our initial perspectives which tend to be a little shallow like all young people to being very profound uh, once we're actually serving. And um, soon enough I, I had been in the Navy almost 27 years and it was time to retire. With a shining example on the Hill uh, for people and countries you know, throughout the world and it's veterans that are willing to lose some of their freedoms because when you join the military you do lose some freedoms. To risk your life, um, not everybody dies, but people do. And, you know, um, veterans go out there and they lose their life, they lose their limbs, lose their vision, and um, they're doing it because they think America is a great place. And uh, we, we hope that there'll always be people that will be willing, be willing to stand up and defend the Constitution and defend the freedoms that we have. And so, Thank you veterans for doing that for my children and my grandchildren and for you. Perhaps the best way we could honor a veteran is to go a step farther and to have a conversation and to ask the veteran, what did you do? You know, did you serve in the Army, the Navy? How many years were you in? Where'd you go? What'd you do? Did you like it? Was it hard? Um, did you lose friends? Uh, where did you go? Did you do a good job representing your country? Um, what campaigns were you in? What actions? What wars? And have a conversation over coffee or, or a donut <laughs> and uh, find out what it really meant to that veteran to have to spend years of his or her life um, standing up for America. It's better than saying you know, thank you for serving, that's nice. But go beyond and say, do you have a few minutes? Let's talk, tell me about it. That's how I would serve a bit.